What's up? It's your most hated kaiju power scaler, King Trills here, and we're back at it again with another versus battle. In today's matchup, we got Monster vs. Kong versus Slattern. This video was suggested by the myth, the legend. Koji Pan! Round of applause for Koji Pan! Uh, if anybody else wants to recommend the videos, go go right ahead and suggest it. Uh, I know some of you suggested. I know some of you suggested a video, so don't worry, I didn't ignore it or anything like that. I'm just doing a lot of research and making sure it's accurate. So yeah, there's that. Bachelor, what are you doing? So we're gonna go ahead and get on to this video, which is Kong and Slattern. This is, if you guys seen my Mechagodzilla versus uh, the entire Pacific Rim Jaeger, Jaegers, um, you kind of know exactly where this fight is going to go. Uh, as you can tell, my mates are here, but uh, they know, they don't know a lot about Kong or Slattern. Yes, you didn't hear him? No, I mean, like, I know you can hear it, but I think you'd be in the video, because I was just coming out the whole time. As you guys can tell, they're here and they're disturbing but besides the point if you guys seen my video you would understand that if i nerfed mechagodzilla <laughs> by a lot who's laughing if i nerf mechagodzilla by a lot he still like craps on all the jaegers <coughs> oh, crap on you so what i'm trying to say here is i want you guys to think about it like this Mm -hmm. If Kong at fifty percent of power with a nerfed atomic breath axe, not even as strong as the one he used before the Mecha Godzilla fight, if he can knock out, kill Mecha Godzilla with that much power, and we already just established that Mecha Godzilla can handle the same exact characters, you you guys get where I'm going at? Yeah. No. So basically. Uh, shout out to Honor's Place. I don't know if all of you, if any of you watch him or not, but he's a great power scaler, and I use uh, some of his calcs with for some of these videos. But let's say if in his video he had a calc for Kong's punches being at 75 gigatons, that's island level, and that's a low ball. You can get higher calcs for Kong's punches. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, uh, Kong one shot Slattern. And if you and I'm gonna say this fight takes place underwater because we never seen Slattern on land, but we have seen Kong in water and Slattern obviously in water, so it's easy to do it that way. And we know Kong can fight pretty well in water. He did better than King Ghidorah did. Um, he even temporarily stunned Godzilla with a headbutt. Now, as we also established, Godzilla in his weakest state in the entire uh, well, not the entire monster verse, but. In a weakened state in King of the Monsters, he was able to tank a nuke like it was nothing. So, what I'm trying to say is, if a tired nerf Godzilla can tank a nuke like it's nothing, and the Jaegers are only about as strong as that nuke was, well, actually, they're a little bit stronger like that, and you can find some stuff that are higher than that, but consistently, they're about nuclear, nuke-wide, city, city level. So basically what I'll try to say is Kong would really, really like one shot Slattern with just a headbutt or a punch. And even if you want to say him being underwater would like slow down the, the kinetic energy to his attacks. It still doesn't change the fact that let's say it's nerfed by 75%, right? Um, and his punches would be 75 gigatons. So let's do the math real quick. He will still, his attacks, even if it was nerfed by 75%, he will still hit at 18 gigatons, 18.75 gigatons, which is still enough to one-shot Slattern. So, yeah, this was a really quick and simple, easy video to make. Kong just destroys Slattern, even in the element that Slattern is better at, which is in water. So, yeah, this is just an easy stomp for Kong. Kong wins.